I'm going to go to a B-side song from mm -hmm. the Thompson Twins. The song is called Passion Planet. This was the B-side to You Take Me Up. Um, did you know, were you familiar with this with this song, Passion Planet? I know you, uh, you probably absolutely. remember. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I also know why they pay, played Passion Planet, because uh, You Take Me Up was too slow. Oh, yeah. They Aww. came out with Hold Me Now, and I think they, they followed it up with You Take Me Up. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And then came Lay All Your Love on Me, whatever it was called. Lay and they hand. thought, lay, lay Your Hands on Me, yeah. They uh, so many. And they thought Passion Planet was a more fun song. Yeah. Yeah, the put, from the first album, they also played We Are Detectives, which is a, a very weird song. Yeah, well, that's funny. Yeah, because You Take Me Up only made it up to num number 92 on the K-Rock charts. But uh, the B-side, here we are at uh, you know number 35, and there's Passion Planet. Yeah. I'd forgotten about this song. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. it's not like anyone else, no other radio station played this song. No, yeah. and it's hard to get, too. Before they came out with all the compilations and 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 yeah. uh, before streaming audio, it was almost impossible to get hold of. Um, so, but my favorite, I have to say this: my favorite, here it comes, favorite <laughs> B side with Thompson Twins, is "Out of the Gap." Was that that's the that's the B side of "Sisters of Mercy," which is a ballad that came out on a twelve inch, and on the back side of that one is "Out of the Gap." That's the medley of Thompson Twins that I did together with Swedish Eagle. That's the first record oh, oh. I got released in the States. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, and it was a guy called Dave German at Arista Records that loved the mix that we had on K-Rock. And he said, we're going to put that out. Uh, and then I came to Sweden that summer. Uh, uh, it must have been back in 84 or if it was summer of 85. No, summer of 84. And I... I'm listening to Radio Luxembourg, which which was the, you know, the only pan-European radio station that you could listen to across Europe. And they, they had this chart show uh, once a week where they played, you know, the hottest music in Europe. And they played my medley, mm. which was, to me, that was, it was so big. Uh, and it's on the B side, and it's a it, it is available. Uh, it's the only mega mix I did that that is out officially on on vinyl and streaming services. Uh, so that's a B side too. So we can find oh. it if we go. We we were able to to hear it. Spotify or Apple Spotify. Music. Just, yeah. Instead of Into the Gap, which was the name of the album, mm -hmm. it's Out of the Gap because it contained so many songs from that album. I'm writing this down because I'm going to uh, stream this yeah. out of the gap. Nice. And oh. and and think about it. There, yeah. there are no drum machines. There is no sync code. Nothing. It's all done with vinyl records by hand. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's really cool. In Swedish Eagles' old apartment in Pasadena. Oh, nice. Wow. Oh, so this, he recorded this all, or this was all done in in some little apartment in Pasadena. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Two turntables and the and the record. I, I mean you can even hear the cracks in some of the records. Oh, okay. Uh, now I definitely got no. Dave's dreaming about <laughs> this. Yeah. No, that's cool. Did you buy Holly, were you a um did you flip over to the B side? Did you buy singles first of all? Or was I it, bought uh, singles, yes. And I, I usually flipped over to the B side. Yeah. I mean I did because I had it. So why wouldn't you? I don't a lot most people just play the A sides. I think, yeah. you know, you just want to hear the hits. Maybe you might give it a cursory listen, the B side, but uh, sometimes there were some gems there. Do you have, did you have well, any favorites? My did favorite's you? the, my favorite is the obvious. I love Sweetest Thing. I, I oh, love okay, it. from, from you yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I couldn't believe when I heard it the first time that that was a B side. Why wouldn't mm -hmm. that have made the album? There's probably a story there, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I know some of, there's, there's some. Really good B sides, I know. Do you, do you guys have half it? Well, I know, <laughs> I know Chris is now. <laughs> Wasn't "We Will Rock You" a B side? Uh, well, yes, because well, yeah, "We Are the Champions" was on the A, but of course, it, it's it always morphed into, uh, you know, kind of segued into the the next song on the on the album. But uh, but yeah, so technically, "We Will Rock You" was the B side. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Wrong decision. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
I mean, you, I yeah, I know they should have just put it all on one side and then put some other song on on the piece. Yeah, two singles. Yeah, why would yeah. that's right? Yeah. Why, why would you listen to it and and just like okay, that's all I need is we are the champions on on the one side. That's funny. Yeah, Dave, do you have a favorite B side? Uh, again, I go to Springsteen. There's uh, probably uh, um, the, on the B side of Dancing in the Dark is Pink Cadillac, which I, I always liked that. Mm -hmm. so that was I, actually, yeah, uh, Springsteen, Pr uh, Prince. I think um, he had Another Lonely Christmas was, uh, that's one of my favorite Prince songs. That was on a B side. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, in the 80s, it was Springsteen, U2, and Prince always put different songs yeah. not on the albums on their on their um on the b-side and so i tried to collect them all our kids are not going to know what the term b-side means yeah that's true yeah <laughs> rem actually man rem on south central rain on their b-side they did um um king of the road there's like some drunken night where they they were just kind of messing <laughs> around like well let's just put this on and they they apologize later for I don't know why we even put this on the B side, but it's it's uh, it's just wonderful just to hear these guys just kind of goofing around the studio. So that that's a fun one. I have a lot of, of fun B sides. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoyed buying singles. I miss buying singles and discovering yeah. like something that like this is only for fans. You won't you know no one else will know about this. But uh, now yeah. I, you know now they release everything. Well, I'm a Great. synth guy. I I love. Depeche Mode, and then I loved uh, uh, Yazoo or Yas, as they were oh, called. Yeah, yeah. In the and the B side to uh, um, uh, Only You is uh, Situation, which is a great oh, wow. song. I, oh, man. It's a great it, song. Yeah. Yes. I could, that's also another one I can't believe is a B side. True. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good. Maybe I'm going to revive my my feelings about the sweetest thing. I'll go with situation. 